Let's talk about a fictional historic K-drama called Nakdu. This K-drama was set in the Joseon dynasty. This drama is about a man who disguises himself as a woman to enter a mysterious women-only village in search of the truth about his birth and about a young woman who does not want to become a kissing in pursuit of revenge for her family. Before we start, however, you should be aware there are spoilers, so spoiler alert. The Tale of Nakdu is a South Korean television series that aired in 2019. It is based on the webtoon by Hai Jin Yang, which was published in 2014. It was aired on KBS2 on September 30, 2019. The main Main casts are Jang Dong Yoon, Kim So Hyun, Kang T O, and Jung Joon Ho. There were 32 episodes. As the story unfolds, Nak Du discovers who he really was, but instead of fighting for the crown, he had only one wish in his life, and that was to live a happy life with the woman he loved and the people he loved, including his real mother, whom he was reunited with. Through episodes one to five, Nak Du, living on a small island witnesses his father and brother get attacked by a group of assassins. He decides to leave home and chases one of the assassins to know what their motive is and who sent them to attack his family. He soon arrives in Hanyang. At a busy market, he runs into a man who plans a terror attack on the king, but the plan never comes to fruition as an incident occurs at the market leading to the man getting arrested. Nakdu dresses up as a woman and enters the village where only widows are permitted to stay. Nakdu manages to blend in with the crowd without acting suspicious or being caught. He soon finds out that there's a jissing house right next to the widow's village. Nakdu finds the assassin that he has been looking for, but he is soon taken away by a group. At night, Nakdu overhears a conversation between a group of widows who look like trained assassins ready to kill. Nakdu follows one of them into the woods. All while this is going on, his family, consisting of his father and brother, decides it is time to leave the island and move to the mainland. Nakdu's father goes to Hanyang to take care of unfinished business. Nakdu and Dongju spend more time together, and Nakdu helps out Dongju as much as he can when she is having trouble completing her chores because she has a broken hand. Dongju says that she wants to treat Nakdu like an older sister, not knowing that he is, in fact, a man. Nakdu later stumbles into a shaman and sees widows performing a religious ceremony. After watching the ceremony, he believes that the widows are planning to do something heinous. Dongju finds out that Lady Kim is really a man and has been pretending to be a woman. After trying to expose him for who he is, Nakdu pleads with Dongju to let him stay for a while more in the village. However, the village soon becomes an uproar as they receive information that a man has snuck inside their village and is eager to catch them. They start drawing up a sketch so they can start the hunt. Nakdu realizes that they are talking about him and decides to give the widows misleading information about the man to confuse them. Episodes 6 to 10. There is a rumor going on that a man has entered the village and fearing for the safety of Nakdu. Dongju asks him to leave the village, but he refuses and stays in the village where he soon finds out that there is an assassination plot going on and makes a deal with the widows. Nakdu decides to help Dongju so she doesn't have to be a jissi. Nakdu gives up the mission that the widows of the Muel Corps gave him. He goes to meet Lady Chun with the idea that can help Dongju. Meanwhile, the widows of the Muel Corps agree to give Nakdu a second chance and order him to complete another mission. Dongju is often reminded of her family, childhood, and memories before coming to Hanyang. She runs into Yelmu and Nakdu happens to watch them have a chat from afar. Nakdu manages to complete his mission, but hears that the real Lady Kim and her servant got caught. Nakdu, the ever-curious protagonist, is eager to know who Dongju has eyes for. He continues to ask her who it is, but she doesn't let a word out. Feeling that she may like someone else, Nakdu finally decides to confess his feelings of love towards Dongju, and while this romantic play is going on, Indu is with Yolmu. She accidentally lets out Nak Du's secret before she realizes it. Nak Du and Dong Ju slowly grow more intimate, and she eventually finds out he's a man. They both have some big secrets between them, and their developing feelings for each other complicate their individual lives. They have to face some serious challenges together. So how do you feel about this drama so far? It is definitely an interesting one, with action and romance sprinkled in. Let's not forget that it was set a long time ago, and this K-drama manages to capture this and is one definitely worth the watch.